Hi, my name is Shez Ahmed. Uh, you're watching Project Food Garden. Today is 25th of July. It's a Sunday. It's a beautiful sunny day. And uh, <clears throat> we have taken a break of about uh, three months. It's been 12 weeks since uh, we went away for uh, the break. I'm in full time study, so I was busy with my studies. And uh, the weather was uh, kind of, uh, we, we came into the winter. So we decided to take a break. We had an intent to do winter wedges, but uh, and because of my full-time studies we had to stop uh, uh, on that plan so this video will we'll try and segmentate this into a few portions uh, this is about uh, we are going through the winter right now and why are we doing the video today uh, I like to be well prepared for everything that we do uh, in our garden so we have done the pre-spring cleanup I know it sounds uh, really preemptive but uh, preemptive is the way to go when you uh, come into this hobby. So today we'll show you exactly the kind of work that we have carried out in the last two weeks. So let's get on with it. Hi again. So uh, last year we did uh, the spuds in this uh, patch. We have uh, bordered this uh, patch as, as you can see. Uh, we have started working on it. We did uh, the initial cleanup. The sooner you will clear the garden the better. Uh, so we have cleared this up. I just need to add uh, compost, uh, horse manure, uh, chicken pellets, chicken manure, and uh, a bit of coffee grounds on that. Also, we have worked on uh, a strawberry planter. You remember, we, we had uh, our strawberries uh, in a patch and they multiplied a great deal. And uh, we have created, uh, we have procured uh, these white pellets and we have joined them together. We have bolted them in the fence and uh, these are really good uh, conventional vertical uh, way to grow your strawberries. So let's move on to the next side. So um, we have uh, prepared a few patches already. Um, in order for you to ensure that um, you get the best results out of the, out of the manures that you bring. Uh, I procured the horse uh, manure about four weeks ago. It was stewing in their sacks and uh, what it does is it, it performs the decomposition, number one. Number two, anything that needs to grow, horse manure sometimes, uh, contains lots of weed and grass so it grows within the sack and then you can just cut it off, get rid of it and when you get it out, it doesn't smell. You won't even feel anything in your bag. So let's give you a quick review of that. See, this horse manure is completely decomposed and uh, we have also added uh, sheep pellets and uh, com uh, compost and the only thing, I've also done the layering as well, so I know it, it is still good uh, four weeks to go before we would actually start uh, putting in uh, the plants in there. We are in process of doing the germinations, yes, you need to start germinations eight weeks prior to the arrival of the season. So we have uh, kick-started uh, tomatoes, uh, okra. Uh, we are doing uh, three different varieties of aubergine. So the seedlings, they need to grow for at least six to eight weeks in order to get, get the health that they acquire before we would transfer them into the patches. We have a totally different floor plan this year. Uh, and we are targeting on more of those fruit and veggies that would be consumed in the house. We have had so much production last year that uh, we ended up giving a lot of a lot of it away. But then people they said that they don't need any more, and I don't like wasting. So let's get on with the rest of uh, the patch. So last year, this part of the garden we planted sweet corn, and out of the 18 plants uh, that I planted, I know a lot of people in Canterbury. Uh, they were moaning about the weather that they didn't got production well on the contrary on our side uh, and within our garden uh, or in this suburb of Canterbury we had so much sweet corn that uh, even after saving the seed we weren't able to consume all of it we are not a lot of people in this house so I, I handed it away but even then we weren't able to consume all of it and unfortunately I mean I had to chuck it into the bin nobody came to pick it up so this year, what I'm doing is, as you can see the black thread, well, what we'll do is, we will be doing garden peas, uh, 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 snow peas, sugar peas, uh, sorry, sugar snaps. So all this side, and if the cameraman can focus on that side, so the entire fence 
would be covered with uh, green peas and snow peas and it carries on on the other side of the fence as well so this is uh, pretty much it for now so if you want to do your spring cleanup this is the time to start we are in the last week of july and you know before you know it it's going to be september which is like uh, the kickstart date the sooner you will start the better head start you will get uh, on getting uh, good production from your garden so in the future we will soon be coming with videos about germinating we are doing germinating three ways hopefully this year i'll try and cover all of it number one uh, germination in uh, the potting mix number two germination in uh, uh, the the paper towels and number three hydrophonics in the water so we'll try and cover all of those uh, like i promised you in the last season we will try and cover the entire life cycle we are doing elephant garlic and normal garlic as well uh, hopefully today we'll make uh, those initial videos for you guys as well so you know um, how to plant it we are three weeks late uh, to plant the garlic nonetheless it's never too late for that so keep tuned uh, this is officially the kickstart of the second season of the project food garden and uh, we are more excited than last year and uh, we'll hopefully see you guys soon again with the the initial life cycle like i promised we will show you this garden back to square one we are back to square one the whole uh, cleanup job is not done we are getting there and we will get there in the next few weeks so wherever you are uh wherever part of the world that you're living in i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon evening and night and we'll see you guys soon have a lovely day goodbye